Welcome back guys, this is Henry1502 Inc. I'm back and I guess the most noticeable thing that you guys can probably see is that I am using a different channel for right now. The Code Academy, it's my new experimental channel. Um, basically we have 12 subscribers, we have 19 video views. We, I started this up in December 13th but I haven't really touched it until now and it's now it's January 29th so um, I'm going to get more serious into this so this channel will pretty much be dedicated to anything programming I'll try to pull in sources from different types of people so not just my videos but if you guys have a video that you want to be aired just send me a message or a comment below and I'll try to get back to you and if you want your channel to be featured this is my main channel Henry1502 Inc and this is um, a buddy of mine Daniel um, he's in one of my groups on Code, Code Academy so now that I've shown you this we're going to keep continuing on to Code Academy um, we're going to keep going with the JavaScript tutorials and whoa what did I just do no my computer really functions slowly once I'm using this so hold on okay so learn and I've already done all 28 of the exercises but just for um just for just for the sake of doing this I'm just going to go back and revisit my previous things except for the project you guys have the project available to you so there's no need so let's get started we are on section one let's go um let me just start back here okay so Ryan Okay, three plus four. This is self-explanatory, so I'm not really going to explain anything. okay so I'm pretty much done this it wants you to get an error message for those of you who don't really understand the error message is good in this case so we'll start the new section I earn the badge everything's all jolly and well we keep going and what pops up they still want us to create an account I'm not I already have an account so in this one this one basically just continues with everything that you've been learning Oh wow. oh wow. Okay. So another way that JavaScript is preferred is you have more um, user 
um, interact interaction. So let's say you want to have a dialog box where your user can click one thing, OK, or cancel. You just have like a whole range of features available with JavaScript. So what you want to do here is write something like um like my video if I'm sick by the way so sorry about that um, hit run like my videos if you guys think this video isn't bad and subscribe if you're using chrome chrome can actually disable the dialog box exist dialog boxes and that's what they're called so prompt is thing of prompt like um if you guys have ever used um python there's a function that allows you to input um raw input and normal input that's somewhat what prompt is so let me just show you guys Okay, so this is what prompt is. It, it's basically like a text field where you can input numbers, letters, whatever you want, the whole spectrum and everything. So my name is Henry. Can I dance? No, I cannot dance. Okay, so we're just going to keep on going. Um, data comes in various types you have two two already so in this one we're learning data types numbers and strings and numbers and strings are pretty much the backbone to any programming language um, num they're pretty self-explanatory strings are words so if you guys don't already know we've been using them the whole time So yeah, um, I want you to do a string of at least three letters. And spaces count if you're trying to find the length of anything. Um, that's interesting. Oh, I have to write three strings out on the should probably read that Okay, so I generally found what I was doing wrong. For some of you guys who are working with this, um, just put like, add, like, subscribe, and that should, ugh, hold on. So run the code, and we are golden, we are good. You still get this error message, but, don't pay any attention to that um 
So next is Boolean, and it's pretty much the same thing except, um, let's say, number of subscribers. Oh, never mind. Um, they tell us what to put. I'm coding like a champ. Okay, so put dot length, and if it's more than 10, it should return true. I think it is more than 10. Yes, it is. It? Yes, it is. Um, it's about 16, somewhere, it's more than 10, so that's why I returned true, and we're moving on to the next section, let me check to see if we have time, um, I guess I'll just start this section up in the next video, so keep watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you found it very useful, add like, subscribe to both this channel and my other channels, this is Henry15002 Inc. I'm out.